What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a video on the different supplies that I use to rehouse tarantulas. Um, also a lot of the stuff could be for when you are packing tarantulas. So basically what I have is I'm in the bathroom so if you hear echo that's why. Um, I have this 24 or 23 gallon Sterilite container. I really like these specific containers because the sides are incredibly smooth. Um, even your old worlds, baboons, pokies, stuff like that. Although they still can climb out of these in, uh, these containers, they struggle quite a bit to uh, to climb out. They're not as uh, not as sure-footed on this material for some reason just because it's so again it's so smooth inside so I really like this and just as a backup plan again I'm in my bathroom so this container is in the bathtub but basically of course you want catch cups this is a 32 ounce deli this is a 12 ounce deli just depends on what size uh, what size teas you're transferring. Also, I have these versions of catch cups. Like I said, you always want to be prepared, so you want to make sure you have everything you need. You don't want to have to try and stop in the middle and scramble into another room and, and get something um, that you may need. So having everything on hand is essential. But this is just another style catch cup. I really like these more so than just the delis, um, just because you have the lid. So if you're dealing with a, a larger tea, you can catch it, you can scoop it into this cup, and you can remove this cap, and you can either gently blow through this end, and the tea will scramble out the other end, or you can use a straw or paintbrush and sort of coerce them back out of the, the uh, catch cup. Again, uh, another one, exact same principle, just smaller, um, just according again to what particular size tea you're, you're working with. Paintbrush goes without saying, um, just something gent gentle and soft to, uh, to prod the teas. Where you need to go, just two straws taped together. Um, just gives you a little bit of an angle, a little bit, again, variations. Um, you never know what you're really going to run into. Depends on your your setups and the landscape and the uh, particular enclosure, what you're going to have to do. Just a standard pair of 12-inch tongs. Pretty self-explanatory. Then you have the big boys, the two 24-inch. One is straight and the other is curved. Um, these are also the locking style which uh, you just have to keep that in mind when you're trying to pick something up. Like if you're picking up a piece of cork bark or something like that with those and they lock in, if the tee decides to run and try to go up the tongs, just letting go of the handle is not going to let the log go. Um, you're going to have to unlock them, so just keep that in mind. And just some bamboo skewers. Again, just moving webbing, different things like that. Um, again, I like to have... As much uh, as much as possible in the as far as tools go, just to make sure again that I don't have to scramble into another room and get something that I didn't bring. Sort of have the whole kit together. It all stays in here. Obviously, this has a top on it, and we just store it in the closet. So whenever we need to transfer or rehouse or whatever it may be, pack for shipping. Um, once we break this kit out, all of the stuff that I just showed you is inside the kit. And of course, you can't go far without a camera because who doesn't want to take pictures of their teas while they're transferring them? Especially burrowing species or species that aren't out in the open very often. So a lot of times transferring the teas is the only time you really get to get good looks at them. So, But uh, yeah, just a short video just showing some of the supplies that I use. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thank you for watching.